Hey, I'm Chris, and I just bought my most favorite vintage car ever. About six years ago, I sold a 1958 Dodge. I had that car for about 15 years, and during that time, I restored every part of it. The interior, exterior, chrome, drivetrain, all of it, and it was perfect by the time I was done with it. I had sold that car, and ever since, I've had a bad case of seller's remorse. But today, I'm back in the forward look. The forward look is a design concept pioneered by Virgil Exner, and it ran from 1955 to 1961. The forward look is characterized by low roof lines, thin roof pillars, sweeping fins. As you got closer to the end of the forward look era, the styling got more and more outlandish, and it culminated in the 1961 DeSoto. So there's a few things I need to do to the car before I get it on the road. I want to go through the fuel tank, carburetor, do a tune-up, go through the brake system, take a look at the wheel cylinders, master cylinder, make sure it's dependable, reliable, and safe. I'm finding cosmetically it's in pretty good shape. I'm told it was painted in the 80s. The chrome appears to be factory chrome given the sheen and the inconsistencies in it. There's a bunch of nicks and bangs, dings, in some of the trim work. But overall, cosmetically, she's pretty sharp. Let's go take a look at the interior. All right, right away, you'll see DeSoto used a version of the Dodge Dash push buttons all the rage all right nothing but the best in style the odometer says 28,000 I think it could be original it certainly looks like it could be given the condition of the interior the padded dash AM radio mark 4 and here's what's interesting and this is what I need the most help on is the interior. The vinyl looks like it could be factory. It's got the embossing on it. With the mylar. But the material doesn't jive. Everything I know about 61 DeSoto's show kind of a basket weave tartan style fabric. And this does not have that. However, the vinyl seems to jive. And I'm not seeing any stitches, stitch holes in the vinyl where maybe the vinyl was saved and the fabric was replaced. So I definitely need some help with that to understand more about that. Let's take a look here. All right, for 1961, DeSoto only had one model, the Adventurer. Previously, they had three, a Fire Dome, Fire Flight, and the Adventurer, Adventurer being the high-performance model. For 61, they eliminated all that and just made it the DeSoto Adventurer. They all have shared the same engine, a 361, 265 horsepower, two-barrel. And aside from the compressor and power steering, power brakes, that's about all you get in here. All right, out here in the trunk, let's take a look. Not a whole lot going on. I'm guessing the same deck lid was used on those flight swept cars where they had the, the indentation for the spare tire look. We got a, looks like an old style spare. Looks dry in here overall. Looks like it's been dry. I don't see a lot of waterlogged stains and marks in here. Came with a few extra um, rear backup light pieces. Some chrome trim that looks crusty. And this jacking instructions. Nice. What do you say we take a drive?
So there you go. There's a quick tour of my DeSoto. I'm anxious to get the mechanicals figured out, get the white white walls put on her, and have a nice, fun, easy, cruising, driving car. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe even, um, and I'll see you on the road. Thanks.